could change. Should I go for a ride? Three, two, one. In a startling revelation preceding his demise, Nikola Tesla, the enigmatic inventor and electrical pioneer, unveils a chilling secret that has long been shrouded in mystery. I will be the greatest provider of electrical power in the world. Better than Edison. There's a contest between you. This is a battle for the brightest minds of America. Today, the impossible becomes possible. As the world grapples with the implications of his final disclosure, the true extent of Tesla's genius and the ominous nature of his revelation begin to unravel, leaving a legacy of intrigue and apprehension in its wake. The man that controls that current controls the future. Today, we uncover the enigmatic Nikola Tesla's final revelation. This is costing us a fortune. Wesley House stole from me! A secret so chilling it remained hidden until his last breath. The terrifying revelation of the Death Ray. A defensive weapon proposed by Tesla in 1934, Teleforce Death Ray reveals an astounding concept. Operating within a vacuum chamber, the device accelerated pellets electrostatically, firing them with unprecedented energy and precision. In contrast to contemporary death rays, Tesla's innovation projected particles, not rays, allowing the transmission of trillions of times more energy over great distances. Described in a letter to J.P. Morgan Jr., Tesla envisioned its use for anti-aircraft defense and protection against aerial bombing. The treatise, the art of projecting concentrated non-dispersive energy through the natural media, detailed charged particle beam weapons aiming to end all wars. The press mislabeled it a death ray, but Tesla clarified its particle-based nature, marking his invention's uniqueness. This secret invention remains a testament to Tesla's visionary yet misunderstood genius. Tesla's enigmatic connection to electricity. Tesla's profound link to electricity goes beyond scientific achievement encompassing innovation, eccentricity, and enduring fascination. His pioneering work in AC power systems, challenging Edison's DC dominance, birthed the practical induction motor and transformer, revolutionizing electrical distribution. Tesla's persona, marked by eccentricities like his devotion to experiments and fascination with pigeons and numerology, adds layers to his mystique. His experiments with high voltage currents yielded inventions like the iconic Tesla coil, symbolizing technological marvel and visionary foresight. His visionary dreams of wireless energy transmission, though largely unrealized, anticipate our interconnected world. His legacy persists not only in scientific history, but also in contemporary innovation, evident in electric vehicles bearing his name. In revisiting Tesla's life, we're reminded of human ingenuity's boundless potential, inspiring future inventors and shaping a future guided by his visionary spirit. Tesla's legacy continues to electrify the world with brilliance, transcending myths and controversies. Tesla War of the Currents, Tesla versus Edison. In the historical conflict famously known as the War of the Currents, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla clashed over competing electrical systems. Tesla, having developed the alternating current, AC induction motor, and associated transformers, aligned with George Westinghouse to challenge Edison's established direct current, DC system. Edison, unwilling to yield ground, launched a public relations campaign to discredit AC, emphasizing its perceived dangers. He circulated pamphlets under the ominous title, A Warning from the Edison Electric Light Company, cautioning against the safety of alternating current. The rivalry escalated, with engineering societies becoming battlegrounds for heated debates. Reporters eagerly sought Edison's commentary on such tragedies, which he used to further vilify AC. Edison's advocacy for the electric chair as a humane form of execution, powered by alternating current, exemplified his relentless campaign. Despite initial skepticism, Edison's endorsement swayed decision-makers, leading to the adoption of AC for executions. Furthering his smear tactics, Edison permitted Harold Pitney Brown to conduct experiments in his laboratory, resulting in the electrocution of stray dogs with AC. These incidents were publicized to reinforce the notion of AC's peril coined by Edison as Getting Westinghouse. The outcome of the War of the Currents hinged on two significant events to be explored in the subsequent installment. Unearthed Secrets of the Tesla Coil Driven by a visionary quest to transmit global power wirelessly, 
Tesla birthed the revolutionary Tesla coil in 1891. This groundbreaking invention marked the dawn of wireless electricity transmission, epitomizing Tesla's mastery of electromagnetic force and resonance principles. The Tesla coil consists of two coils, primary and secondary, each with capacitors connected by a spark gap. It operates by feeding high voltage power through a transformer to achieve resonance, maximizing energy transfer between coils. Although ideally self-sustaining, practical limitations necessitate an external power supply. With precise timing, operators can control voltage using adjustable rotary spark gaps, enabling mesmerizing lightning displays and synchronized musical effects. While the Tesla coil's direct utility has diminished, its profound impact on electricity's understanding and application endures, with modern devices like radios and televisions still employing its principles. The Philadelphia Experiment Mystery The Philadelphia Experiment is a mysterious tale involving remarkable individuals such as Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein, who were enlisted for secretive military projects. Tesla's groundbreaking efforts began in 1899 with the establishment of a station in Colorado. Here, he accomplished remarkable feats like transmitting power wirelessly and measuring atmospheric frequencies. He purportedly developed mechanisms for extraordinary feats, including splitting the Earth. In 1901, Tesla announced breakthroughs in interstellar communication and initiated the World System Project. Posthumously, the FBI classified his work, aiming to conceal its significance. The Marconi Company's infringement of Tesla's patents was affirmed by the U.S. High Court in 1943. Subsequently, the U.S. Navy conducted experiments in October of that year, attempting to cloak the USS Eldridge using an electrical force field, leading to crew members' institutionalization. The Defense Department's 1993 plans for an ionospheric research facility in Alaska drew from Tesla's patents, encompassing techniques for atmospheric manipulation and particle generation. This account intertwines with the enduring mystery of the Philadelphia experiment, wireless energy transmission dreams of the Wardenclyffe Tower. At the turn of the 20th century, Tesla embarked on his ambitious Wardenclyffe Tower project, envisioning it as the apex of his career. Despite early support in 1901, leading to Tesla's scientific and financial decline, his revolutionary contributions to alternating current technology had already reshaped urban power systems, but his altruism or naivety led him to forfeit potential riches by renouncing patent royalties. Nonetheless, he enjoyed the means and freedom to pursue his passions, as seen in his remarkable achievements in Colorado Springs during the 1890s. Upon returning to New York, Tesla tirelessly sought funding for his wireless telecommunications system, captivating financier J.P. Morgan with his vision of global connectivity. However, setbacks arose when Marconi's advances in radio communication overshadowed Tesla's plans, sparking suspicions of idea appropriation. Despite completing the tower in 1902 and experimenting until 1905, financial strains and patent expirations led to Wardenclyffe's foreclosure in 1915 and eventual demolition in 1917. Nevertheless, efforts to preserve Tesla's legacy thrive, evident in the establishment of the Tesla Science Museum, honoring his enduring impact on innovation. Signals from Outer Space – Tesla's Cosmic Connection Since 1900, Tesla has been intrigued by cosmic rays reaching Earth from outer space. His insights preceded Victor Franz Hess's 1912 proof of cosmic rays existence, which earned Hess a Nobel Prize nomination in 1936, Tesla's third missed Nobel nod. Cosmic rays, with their complex composition and high energy, are still a subject of debate. Tesla hypothesized that the sun and stars emitted positive charges absorbed by planets like Earth. He estimated the sun's electric charge, although the methodology remains unclear. Tesla's experiments, notably with elevated ball capacitors, revealed intriguing properties, including seasonal and daily capacity variations. He associated these effects with waves produced by the sun in the atmosphere, a discovery he hoped to publicize before his death. Tesla's pioneering work on cosmic rays and atmospheric phenomena remains an intriguing aspect of his legacy, offering insights into the universe's mysteries. Tesla ambition for universal free energy. Ever pondered a world where electricity flowed freely? Tesla envisioned just that, an endless clean energy source accessible to all opposing coal-fired plants polluting the air. He theorized the Earth harbored electrical currents, which when harnessed through precise discharges, could yield boundless energy via low-frequency waves. 
Among his daring experiments was wireless power transmission, defying conventional wisdom. His aim? Liberating humanity from fossil fuel reliance, deeming it wasteful and harmful. Despite partnering with JP Morgan, funding for Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower ceased, fearing free energy would disrupt profits. Experts speculate Tesla's concept lacked practicality, yet his unmatched ability to visualize and innovate persisted. The tower's demise in 1917 marked a turning point, leaving Tesla in debt and unable to replicate past triumphs. His failure was a setback for both him and progress, depriving humanity of his unparalleled ingenuity. Hidden Inventions in the Seized Estate The release of an additional 64 pages of previously processed material by the Federal Bureau of Investigation sheds light on the scientist Nikola Tesla, including a catalog of papers confiscated by the U.S. government after his death in 1943. The seizure of these papers sparked controversy, fueled by claims that the FBI withheld Tesla's most dangerous inventions, which were under the Office of Alien Property Custodian, until they vanished post-war. Director J. Edgar Hoover fielded numerous demands for their public release, prompted by Tesla's biography. Despite speculation about Tesla's writings, an evaluation by a Massachusetts Institute of Technology engineer deemed them of little value to the country. Moreover, the technical devices found in Tesla's apartment were debunked as outdated electrical instruments, not prototype death rays. While this doesn't fully resolve the mystery surrounding Tesla's missing effects, it does debunk some of the more outlandish conspiracies surrounding him. Tesla's mystical relationship with pigeons. Nikola Tesla's living quarters were meticulously arranged to accommodate pigeons. Bird beds adorned his desk, bird seed was scattered by the windowsill, and a window remained open. Eventually, the influx of birds at the Hotel St. Regis in New York City led to management issuing an ultimatum, cease feeding the pigeons or vacate the premises. Tesla opted for the latter. Despite living a reclusive life, Tesla found solace and connection through his interactions with pigeons. In a 1929 interview, he confessed, Sometimes, I feel that by not marrying, I made too great a sacrifice to my work. It is my only means of playing. Among his eccentricities, Tesla's affection for pigeons stood out. He spent hours feeding them in parks, nursed injured ones back to health, and even requested a special seed mix from a hotel chef. Despite his reputation as a germaphobe, Tesla's devotion to these feathered companions remained unwavering. Tesla numerical obsession with the 369 cosmic code. Imagine if mathematics hadn't been created, but instead uncovered. Throughout his professional journey, Nikola Tesla engaged in numerous enigmatic and controversial experiments. He possessed an aura of peculiarity and mystery, conducting actions that confounded the world. An intriguing aspect of Tesla's eccentricity was his ritual of circumambulating a building thrice before entering. Residing in a hotel, he insisted on room numbers divisible by three. The enigmatic scholar harbored a profound fixation on the number three. However, it appears Tesla's obsession extended to the sequence of numbers three, six, nine. The key to unlocking the universe's secrets resides in the exploration of the numbers three, six, and nine. They hold profound significance, encapsulating the true magnificence of our world, asserted Nikola. Collaboration and Fallout with J.P. Morgan The relation of J.P. Morgan joining forces with Thomas Edison instead of Nikola Tesla is fascinating and packed with historical insights. Picture this. It's the late 1800s, and electricity is the hot topic. Edison and Tesla are the big players, each with their own ideas. Edison is all about direct current, DC, while Tesla is pushing for alternating current, AC. JP Morgan realizes there's serious cash to be made in electricity, so he throws his support behind Edison and his DC system, particularly for lighting. Although Morgan's CFO, Charles Batchelor, played a significant role in this decision, other factors also shaped Morgan's stance. Edison's smear campaign against AC, including electrocution demonstrations, influenced public opinion and regulatory bodies. Bachelor's persuasion in rejecting Tesla's AC system further tilted the scales. Even though Edison came out on top, Tesla's impact is still felt today, showing just how complicated their rivalry was. J.P. Morgan throwing his weight behind Edison was a big deal, but the Edison-Tesla drama was more than just about money and power. It was also about arguments over technology and personal grudges. So even though working with J.P. Morgan helped Edison win, Tesla's legacy still matters a lot highlighting the tangled web of innovation and competition. The Tesla Turbine and its Visionary Applications The Tesla Turbine, invented by Nikola Tesla in 1913, operates without blades, using centripetal flow. Fluid is directed onto smooth disks, 
generating rotational movement through momentum exchange. Discs are stacked similarly to CDs on a pole. Unlike traditional turbines, which use blades, the Tesla turbine exploits the boundary layer effect. It's known by various names, including bladeless turbine and prandle layer turbine. Tesla intended its use for geothermal power, as described in our future mode of power. The turbine's mechanics differ significantly from bladed turbines. Rather than impacting blades, steam pressure builds around the turbine's periphery. This peripheral pressure acts as a self-governing mechanism, limiting steam flow. Under load, the turbine's relative speed to the fluid increases. High relative velocities cause steam to behave like a solid body, generating friction and heat. This increases torque at the rotor's axis, improving efficiency compared to conventional turbines of Tesla's time. The Enigmatic Earthquake Machine In 1898, Nikola Tesla shared a story about an earthquake that shook near his laboratory in New York. He explained that the quake was actually caused by a little machine he was tinkering with, which was so compact it could fit into a coat pocket. He was trying to synchronize the vibrations of his machine with the building when it began cracking. Tesla realized it was nearing the building's vibration frequency and quickly shut it down to prevent disaster. When police arrived, he attributed the incident to an earthquake. At his 1935 birthday interview, Tesla announced a method for transmitting mechanical energy with minimal loss over long distances, along with a new communication method and a way to locate underground minerals. This system, called telegeodynamics, was based on his reciprocating engine invention. Tesla envisioned peaceful uses for his invention, such as using vibrations to locate minerals underground. However, the system never advanced beyond the prototype stage due to limitations in transmitting energy effectively over long distances. Despite this, Tesla's idea of using vibrations for underground prospecting laid the groundwork for modern seismic exploration techniques. Radio communication and the world system. Nikola Tesla had been thinking about the fundamentals of radio technology since 1892. He then filed for a patent on November 8, 1898 for a groundbreaking creation, a radio-controlled watercraft. Tesla personally unveiled this amazing invention at the Madison Square Garden Electrical Exhibition in 1898. Tesla had a command post, and the boat was equipped with an antenna to receive radio waves sent from there. The boat was able to move ahead by means of the mechanism known as a coherer, which converted the waves into mechanical movements. At the command station, Tesla maneuvered the boat in various directions using manual controls. This creative application of radio waves garnered national notice and made headlines all over the country. Although Guglielmo Marconi is frequently credited as the creator of radio, Tesla's. And there you have it, guys. Nikola Tesla's final revelation leaves us both in awe and amusement. Remember, even geniuses have their quirks. Don't forget to subscribe for more shocking secrets from history, or should I say, electric ones. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep your circuits charged and your sparks flying.